Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, so River City Home Buyers, um, one of the big goals to start the new year is um, to expand my technology and social media. So um, I actually purchased this tripod that Henry Angley um, recently recommended and shout out to him because it is super simple. You were absolutely right about that. Hello, Hank. And um, also had the privilege of attending um, a wonderful social media training last night at Yellowbird, super helpful. Um, I have done some short reels, but mostly for fun and a couple of YouTube videos, but I do plan on expanding that quite a bit. Um, but I also put a post the other day up about um, holding ourselves accountable to more of a schedule to be more productive and kind of not let our day get derailed as often happens. So another little tool that I have in my toolbox, I purchased this wonderful gem. Um, I have tried having uh, like goals written down in a notebook and things like that and or on a poster. I'm just really bad about going back to them. So this is super comprehensive because it has kind of all the components that a lot of the other ones that I've had in the past are missing. So to begin, um, it starts you out with um, some self-awareness, questions and answers, core values, life purpose, your mission statement, what you're grateful for, some affirmations, and things that you need to remind yourself, right? So that's really, I plan on using that as an ongoing tool um, because I feel like I'm gonna find more things that I need to remind myself of. It gives you two nice big blank pages to create your vision board. Um, if anyone does not know how to create a vision board and would like some uh, additional information, please reach out to me. Um, I've done workshops and trainings uh, in the past on creating vision boards. Um, then it has a long-term goal setting, what I would like my life to be like in one year, five years, 10 years, and 20 years um, in different categories. And of course, you don't have to use all the pages, right? You use the ones that you feel are useful and pertinent. And then I love your one-year goals. Sorry, three-month goals. And if you're a mind map person, I also have some training in that. So if you need help with that, you can draw a mind map. Um, and then it opens up to all of your regular monthly planner pages. These actually come blank. So if you wanted to start your book in February instead of January, it's not pre-printed. You could totally do that. And on the bottom, things I will do to make this month great. So over here, you have some goals that you have already made for the month. Things you're going to do to make this month great. As you can see, I haven't gotten very far. Um, just got this book a couple days ago, but um, my game plan, because I know better than to try to pre-plan things a little too far out in the business that I'm in. So my plan is to um, fill this out for like a few days at a time and then really use it as a tool to stick to it. And I'm going to try not to fill the slot for the entire day each day. So if I'm going to dedicate my morning that morning to marketing, I'm going to put in what I'm going to do for that three hour block. And then I may leave most of the afternoon open because I know things are going to pop up. That's just the nature of the business um, or the flip side of that. And um, I think this is really going to help with being able to accomplish more of some of the stuff that seems to fall by the wayside. Um, I like the fact that it kind of would make my day repluggable if I needed to. Like, so for example, if I had tomorrow a three hour morning block for my marketing plugged in, but then I got a call from one of my subs, had to run out, put out a fire, uh, work with an inspector, do something unexpected. If there's a problem on the job, 
and it, I ended up having to just jump and go, I could take that day and plug it in a couple days further down the road. So just a thought on how um, you could make this work for you. Um, and then in the back, it just has like weekly ones with to-do lists, work to do, personal to do, and my week priorities, habits and skills, and a life balance to-do list. Um, I think that's really helpful too um, for a lot of us that kind of um, find that we're spending an inordinate amount of time in one area of our life and maybe not enough in another. And there are a ton of blank pages in the back that you can use for note taking and so forth. I actually used one last night at the Yellow Bird training. So uh, reach out to me if you wanna know exactly which planner this is. Um, it's kind of like a fake leather bound, very high quality, but not expensive. It was about $32, something like that. Um, and also the tripod, reach out to Henry because that was a great suggestion and I'm super stoked about it. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Friday, very productive end to your week and an awesome weekend.